stress analysis of simply supported beam subjected to UDL. Next generation learning, quality education is my part. Let us consider a simply supported beam. subjected to uniformly distributed load. The span length of which is 2 meters and the properties are as shown. Now let us go to structural preprocessor element type add. We we'll select the element as beam 2 node 180. We define the material properties in the material model. Ex is Eng's modulus in x direction and PRXY is Poisson's ratio in xy direction. We have entered it. OK. Now let us define the section that is beam common section. B value as 200 and H value as 300 as mentioned. Then let us create the key points. First key point is created. Second key point is created at a distance of 2000 mm. Now we are joining the key point using the lines. Once the lines are created, we need to mesh. It. So we we'll go to the meshing size control manual size global and we divide the element into 100 parts or 100 small elements. Now we'll mesh this to call OK. Now let us give the boundary conditions. The boundary conditions for simply supported beams are at key point 1 we fix UX, UI, UZ, ROTX and ROTY and at key point 2 we fix UI. These are the boundary conditions for simply supported beam. Now let us give the UDL that is we go to pressure and we apply the pressure on beams load key value is changed to 2 and the pressure value at node i that is 10 kN as we can see here UDL is applied now we will solve this table add will go to by sequence number SM I see that is 6 19 3 and 16 these are the combinations for beam 2 node 188 element to obtain the shear force and bending moment now we change it to 6 and 19 to see the shear force diagram and we'll change it to 3 and 16 to see the bending moment time. We can also obtain a DOF solution to see the 3D view. Let us go to plot controls, style, and we'll on it. Now we can see the 3D view of this. And we'll animate it now. Deform shape, deform plus undeform. We can adjust the animation that is by adjusting the frame rate. We can forward it. We can also see the animation of deformation using the color band. That's it. Thanks for watching.